The coffin of Nelson Mandela resting, as is traditional for a tribal chief, on a leopard skin in the centre of a huge marquee, which was specially built to hold over 4,000 invited guests to his state funeral. 95 candles burned, reflecting each year of his remarkable life. Heads of state spoke during the final ceremony of mourning for the former president. So too did friends and family. One of the opening tributes was from Ahmed Kathrada, who was a fellow prisoner on Robben Island. It was a deeply personal and moving speech to the man he knew as a brother and who he had accompanied during many of his struggles. Madala, we may be drowned in, fear, uh, in sorrow and grief. We must be proud and grateful that after the long walk paved with obstacles and suffering, we can salute you as a fighter for freedom in the end. Farewell, my dear brother, my mentor, my leader. Tribal traditions peppered the formalities. One of his granddaughters remembered a humble and loving grandfather who was also a disciplinarian and taught the family many lessons. We shall miss you, Tatumkulu. We shall miss your stern voice when, we were not when you were not pleased with our behavior. We'll carry lessons you taught us through our lives as we make you proud. As South Africans, we must stop pointing figures, but rather we must live by example as you did and do something positive for South Africa. The story of Nelson Mandela is so much the story of South Africa. The song has died, said one speaker, but the melody will live on. The melody of Madiba.